Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your last half of December 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Last half of December 2023. card that's come out is angel number two your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey so you are protected so i'm just adjusting the microphone let's see what we have for you as an archangel michael card what do we have for Taurus, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. The cat's been moving the microphone again. She, <laughs> she jumps on the table and starts putting a little cheeks against it, but starts moving in a completely different direction. <laughs> anyway, moving on, let's see what we have as an Archangel Michael for you. Message, please, thank you. We have number 41, your loved ones are safe. Let go of fear and worry for your loved ones. I am looking after them. And we have have no fear, number 14. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. So those are your initial messages. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus, last half of December 2023. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus, last half of December 2023. Message for Taurus. Thank you. Message for Taurus. <clears throat> We have the Queen of Pentacles, which can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, or the energy of the card. That can be you. Knight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, Page of Swords, and we have the Two of Cups. So, Queen of Pentacles, you might be looking at something, uh, evaluating something in the next half of December 2023. Um, this can be to do with healing, recovery, uh, very good in terms of, of uh, trying to nurture something back to a healthy balance. Uh, but the Queen of Pentacles can also be in terms of money, career, financial as well. Because the Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, it looks like there's some kind of communication, conversation going on here that makes you take stock. Uh, Seven of Pentacles can be something that you've put time and energy into already. Do I want to continue on this path? If so, where do, where's this heading? Or do I want to make changes? This is that kind of scenario here. It could be something's caused you to evaluate. Take stock of your current situation here.
Yeah, and with the the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, the Eight of Swords can be I'm it can be I'm not sure with the Chariot I'm not sure whether we can overcome the issues, the obstacle, the difficulties. You know, and and claim that victory over whatever the issue is. This is about overcoming difficulties. There could be some communication or information here that's causing you to evaluate your circumstances. And again, the Eight of Swords in relationship terms with the Chariot is, I'm not sure we can overcome the issues or challenges, you know. Uh, I'm not sure that can happen. You know, this is somebody who is stuck right now because something has made them think negatively about the situation and they're not sure they want to move forward on that path. This can also be the scenario here of some communication coming in in money business career terms, but you're not sure whether you want to leave. I mean, you're not sure whether you want to, whether, whether you want to move on, you know, whether you want to go for it. Because this is about, um, you're stuck, you know, you're, you're not moving forward right now. You could be evaluating which way to go. You know, you, you have, might need to make some kind of choice or decision here in terms of whether you can overcome the issue or whether you want to go for this or not. Because the Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles This just feels like a choice between do I, don't I, will I, won't I, you know? Uh, two paths, two options, two scenarios here. It can be a money career financial. Two of pentacles can be, do I give up this to go for that? Do I do, I do it? Do I do it? Can I do it? You know, am I ready to leave? Do I want to go for this? I'm not sure. It could even be here, Taurus, as well, that you've been put, put you've been put forward for something. Again, it might well be your boss, for example, uh, could be as part of your company. You know, might well be saying to you, you know, you should go for this leadership position, or you should go for this. But again, something's stopping you from from going for it. You're not sure whether you're ready for it. Again, sometimes that Eight of Swords can be that sense of all the reasons why we shouldn't go for it. You know. Um, we tell ourselves and keep ourselves stuck. It's the mind holding us hostage. So again, this can actually be to do with maybe some kind of advancement in some way as well. It looks like there is some kind of, again, it looks like some kind of communication being had here. Um, could even be in terms of love, romance, relationships, because the Two of Cups can be a bond between two people. Uh, can be very positive in terms of friendship can also be very positive in terms of love romance. If this wasn't either of those, this can be an important connection or somebody who is uh, some kind of offer or invitation being extended. But it looks like there's a choice. And in relationship terms, it's I don't know if we can overcome the issues between us. It looks like there is some kind of conversation being had here again. Uh, with the opportunity to see whether something can be healed, whether you can get back on track with a person or whether you make changes. Uh, similarly here, it's whether you're ready to go for this. Could be potentially a change in terms of a work scenario, could be opportunity or some kind of opening for you um, where you're really considering whether you go for it or not. But it feels like something is is holding you back. And it's interesting that Archangel Michael card have no fear. Uh, because it looks in this scenario here, Taurus, I mean, this is either greater abundance or an opportunity to really come into your own with the Queen of Pentacles, certainly money, career, financial terms, or an opportunity to heal a relationship in some way. With the Two of Cups, this can be a very positive reconciliation energy. But it just feels like you have a, a decision to make. It 
It might well be that you need either a more, another conversation before you make a decision. You may have more questions here. Could be in terms of relationships. Or you might have more questions or need to, I want to say, fact find or get more information. It might well also be somebody encouraging you more. Because, you know, again, the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, I feel that someone's telling you to go for it or telling you about something. Maybe some kind of advancement in terms of career. Whether it's at another company or whether it's in your current aspect. For a lot of you, it's just feeling like your current workplace. But you're not sure whether you want to go for it or not, whether you're ready for it. I feel that then there's another conversation being had here. Uh, where it might well be some more information or you get to ask more questions. I mean, this just feels like that sense of fact-finding or getting some kind of information that you need to help you make a decision. And that would be the advice as well, get more information. Either way. Interesting. Let's get one more card. Any other message for Taurus? Thank you. Last half of December, 2023. The Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card of coming together uh, in celebration and joy. So very good in terms of uh, coming together with another celebration. Could be healing a friendship. Can also be very good in terms of healing love romance relationships. But it's also a very good celebratory energy in terms of if you're going for something here. One more card with the Three of Cups. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, there is some kind of offer being given to you. Now, the Knight of Pentacles in love, romance, relationships... Uh, this can be a solid offer of commitment. And again, if there are issues between the two of you and there's an opportunity to heal or reconcile, this is an opportunity to get back on track on a solid footing and somebody offering that or asking that. Similarly, the Knight of Pentacles in a work scenario can be very positive in terms of money areas. This is someone making you an offer or there is an opportunity here but this just, this just feels like go for it. I mean, going for it. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't, uh, this is something that, again, the Queen of Pentacles is very capable. So this is something that I feel Spirit is saying, listen, if you have this opportunity and you're not sure whether you're ready for it or you want to go for it, this is about going for it because it feels it's deserved. Is what I'm getting here, Taurus. But get more information. I mean, I would say definitely get some more information, but it, it definitely looks like there is an opportunity to either get back on track in terms of love, romance, relationships. Or for others of you, it just feels very positive in terms of uh, a celebration to do with, and it feels like advancement in some way. Because the chariot is a card of victory, triumph, success. We have wish wisely, yes. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. That's what I have for you, Taurus, for the last half of December. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful rest of December. And for those of you who celebrate Christmas, I wish you a happy Christmas, happy holidays, and I will see you next time. <music>